Welcome to the Housework Workshop Vlog, episode 006, starting right now. On this week's episode, we are going to be talking about the Revolution 2x72 belt grinder plans launch that happened last week. Also, I get a package from California that I'm super excited about. I've started a cleaver project. It's big, it's bad, and I like to call it the hog splitter, the monster chopper, or the zombie killer. But first, let's talk about what's going on in the grind room. Have you ever done something, built something, or put a space together and just wondered to yourself, this could be way more efficient, and then have to change it around like 80 million times before it's actually right? Well, I'm doing that right now. I'm in the current process of actually switching things around in the grind room, changing the way the layout is and the flow, the workflow of the tooling that's in there. First, I had the mill in the center of the room, kind of behind me, right behind me, so it looked kind of cool on camera. Then I realized the room is pretty dark and you can't see anything in here anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And then uh, I moved the mill over to the one side of the room and that seemed to work okay, because then I could get the grinders in the center of the room that for those really cool long shots that I like to take from far away while I'm grinding. What I quickly realized was that is not really all that efficient either. So I ended up moving everything around today. Yet again, this is like probably the fourth or fifth time I've done this. I moved the mill next to the grinding table and I've kind of got it configured now to where I feel pretty good about it. I think it's a, a pretty decent workflow. I guess we'll kind of find out as I use it. Every time I make a change, I feel like that's a change for the better and that I'm actually moving forward and this is progress. So the grind room is coming along. Also, I put some lights up in there that are on a voice activated thing like I like to do with my Google thing. And hey Google, turn on my cool LED lights. Voila. Hey Google, turn off my cool LED lights. Perfect. So the plans launch for the 2x72 grinder prototype that I put out last week went really well. There were hardly any technical glitches. I actually built and designed that website through Shopify. I'm not sponsored by them, nor am I an affiliate of theirs. I just really felt like that was the easiest and quickest way to get a website up and online, and it worked really well. Those of you, all few hundred of you who bought the plans, thank you. Thank you so much from deep down inside of me. Thank you for buying and supporting and emailing me and texting me and calling me and just letting me know that you are building and that the plan set is amazing. People have been leaving comments on YouTube, on Facebook, on the Home Built Grinders forum, everywhere. People have reached out to me who I haven't heard from in a long time on YouTube and said that this is the best plan set that they've actually seen come from a home builder. So I truly appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. And it helps support everything I've got going on in here. I know you don't know a lot about the financial component of starting a YouTube channel and becoming a content creator, but there's a lot of output before there's any input. So to do a project like this, and yes, I know I worked really hard on it and I brought value to the community of knife making, that value really isn't there until you guys pull the trigger and buy something or buy from me. So uh, that really helped me. It affirmed everything inside of me that said I'm on the right path. So again, thank you. I appreciate you. Hold on one second. I got to go get something out of the grind room. I have been working so hard on the launch of the 2x72 belt grinder plans that I started to feel like I was burning out. I was burning out on making videos, burning out on just the overall business component of launching a business. It is um, a lot of extra hours at night and during the day when I'm not working on my other company. I need to do something creative. And that's when this project was born. This I like to call the hog splitter. It is 23 and a half inches long. It is designed after the actual hog splitter, which is a hashtag on Instagram. If you haven't followed that, there is a whole bunch of guys making these and finding them out in the wild somewhere. I have no idea the origination of this. I just really loved the idea of a long handled cleaver. This thing is uh, made out of A2 tool steel. It will air harden, which I think will help in it actually not warping when I heat treat it. I am going to probably put it inside of something when I cool it, like uh, some sort of jig or something 
between two pieces of steel clamped together and then run some cold air over it just to ensure that it will not warp. But I am very, very happy with how it turned out. I actually drew this in SketchUp, believe it or not. I sat down and thought, you know what? I kind of want to experiment with the idea of knife design inside of a 3D program like SketchUp. And it went really easily and well. And then, of course, you have to print it out and template it, which wasn't too tough in Adobe Acrobat. Can't wait to finish this beast. Also, I thought maybe I would do a hamon on this. Uh, turns out though, through a little bit of research that you cannot put a hamon on A2 tool steel. I think it has something to do with that it's an air hardening steel and you don't quench it. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. Also, something kind of embarrassing happened to me. I realized that the cheap Chinese TIG that I had bought about six months ago actually came with a plasma cutting attachment. No idea it was in the bag or the box or whatever, and I was pulling it all apart and realized I actually have a plasma cutter. So how I ended up cutting out the hog splitter was using the plasma. Now, plasma cutters scare the living crap out of me, all right? I'm not a big fan of them. I used to use them in college when I was doing sculpting classes and so on, but they are not uh, a tool that you would want to use if you didn't really fully understand what plasma is. And to cut through A2 tool steel, this is 0.187. It actually did a really great job. I was surprised. Um, it got really hot, and I was concerned that the steel would harden because as I was cutting through it, it was actually getting really hot. But I plan on doing normalizing cycles on this anyway, so I don't really see too much of a concern there. Maybe you do. Some of the guys out there that are really into the science behind uh, metallurgy could tell me. But when I put it up to a grinder, it really didn't seem hardened to me. I actually had trouble with this a few times cutting this steel with a bandsaw. That's the reason why I decided to play around with the plasma. When the coronavirus takes over the rest of the world and everyone turns into zombies, make sure you build one of these bad boys so that you're ready for the apocalypse. I have been getting emails and messages on Facebook from all over the world. People are building the Revolution 2x72 belt grinder and it is amazing to watch your progress. Some people have modified them, made changes, done their own little thing. Maybe they substituted one piece of steel for another. A really cool, interesting modification that's come across so far is somebody used angle iron instead of my curved hinges. They used like a piece of angle, which I didn't even think about. And it looks amazing and it looks really sturdy and solid. So that might be something I add to the website where we can maybe add that to the plans. Thank you so much for sending those. Also, I got video from a guy. He has been plasma cutting out the parts and sending me video. So I'm going to include some of that here while I'm talking about it. I think that it is amazing to actually see the process happening. Another gent actually sent me a whole bunch of parts. Uh, JHK Customs on Instagram. Thank you so much for uh, out in Bozeman. He cut a whole bunch of my parts and sent them to me because we're doing a build project. We're actually building a grinder for someone and I appreciate you. Thank you so much. That saved me tons of time. I cannot wait to get my Langmuir Systems Crossfire Pro. It is going to revolutionize what I've got going on in my shop. Wink, wink. I need that as soon as possible. So if you're from Langmuir Systems and you happen to see an order from a Brian House, please, please expedite. I see that they're back ordered. I was told April. One last and final segment I like to call mail call. Mail. 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 Mail call. Mail call. I received a package from someone who reached out on Instagram to me and he was like, Brian, do you know what I make? I make super cool things that you would really like. And I was like, all right, send me one. And his name is Benny, and I will link to his Instagram down below so that you can find him. Benny, thank you so much for this. I don't even know what's in it. I sort of know what's in it, but I don't really know what's in it. Let's open it. This is a robot keychain, okay? Uh, the guy's YouTube channel is called Benny's Bots, and he makes small little robots out of metal, basically, and uh, welds them together and turns them into little keychains. Benny, thank you so much for this. I will really use this. In fact, I was kind of toying around with the idea of welding it to my grinder so that I've got a little robot guy kind of helping me along with all my knife projects. But now that I know it's a keychain, I got to put my shop keys on this, dude. This is the best. This is amazing. You are a creative human being that came up with a really cool concept and a really cool idea. Thank you so much, Benny. I truly appreciate you.
As always, there are links down in the description for everything you see in my workshop. If you click through those links, you can help support me in numerous ways. And also I wanna just tout that I do have housework t-shirts in the Teespring store right below this video. There's a link that you can click through and check it all out. Now, if you're watching this on Instagram, you can't find any of that. You need to go to YouTube, find me out on there. If you look in my profile, you'll find to my YouTube page so that you can find me there and uh, connect with me up on YouTube. If you got something out of today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Just hit that little bell, the little bell, so you get a notification every time I upload something to YouTube. Appreciate you watching. Have a great weekend. My name is Brian House, and this has been Housework. <laughs>